Hey guys, so I am back with a, another wig review. This wig is from Beauty Forever Hair. I am wearing their 150% lace front body wave wig. So if you are interested in this beautiful wig, then keep on watching. All right, guys, so let's get into all the details of this wig. So this is 150% density. Um, the lace color is brown and it is 24 inches long. So the hair is beautiful, you guys. I have absolutely no complaints about the quality of the hair and you do get your standard two combs in the front, one comb in the back with an adjustable strap. For me, the hairline needed um, some plucking. I spent maybe 20 minutes or so plucking this hairline and still did not get it exactly the way I wanted. They do give you um, a good amount of hair in the front, which is great. So if you are worried about like over plucking, um, you, I don't think you'll have a problem with that. So this is just what I did in the beginning. I still need to go back in right there where I put the comb and pluck a little bit more, which of course I ended up doing, but yeah. Yeah, so I'm just using this lot of body um, setting lotion and I'm just parting my hair pulling out the baby hairs and setting this wig I prefer to do everything not everything but the majority of everything on my mannequin head because it gives me the flattest lay versus doing it on um, like when it's already on my head um, just setting it using the setting foam and tying the hair down is like it it helps me so much more and if you are new to wigs I would suggest just spending the you know the $25 or so to get you a mannequin head and learning how to do it this way because it saves you so much trouble um, in the end in the long run in my opinion and helps you get your hair nice and flat and natural so I'm going in here with my hot comb um, and just you know just going over um, the top of my wig where the parting is to make sure it is laid nice and flat and here I'm just cutting off the lace I do wish that I got the transparent lace which would have came in handy because this brown lace just it was okay but it wasn't it's just not my favorite and it's not as soft which is why I was switching back and forth between my scissors and my razor so if you get this wig just get the transparent lace and you should be good the wig also did not fit me all the way so i'm leaving a little bit of lace right there to glue down to make sure it holds so so next i'm taking my got to be glued spray and you can apply as many layers i guess as you need i typically do two layers so i'll spray and then i will um, use my blow dryer for about 30 seconds and then i'll spray again and then use my blow dryer while i am laying the lace down and continue to blow dry until it is um, nice and dry also make sure you are just laying the lace down do your best a nice rat tail comb is the easiest way to make sure you're laying the lace and not like the hair as well or else you'll end up with glue down here plus glue down lace will just be a mess so here is the hair all ready to go. It is super soft, you guys. I have absolutely no complaints on this hair. It is really, really pretty to me. I think it's super soft and full of so much body. So yeah, here I'm just going to take a few sections and do my baby hair. I struggled today with doing my baby hair for some reason. Um, so yeah, I did the best that I could today. <laughs> So yeah, so whenever I do a middle part, a trick that I typically do, I just make sure like the, maybe like the top of my head, so where I'm doing the baby hair right here, and then I'll do like the middle. I just make sure that is really um, how I want it to be, especially because the wig did not fit. So I didn't really need to do that much towards the, like towards my um, sideburns or like to towards my ears or anything like that. I just kind of left it as is because to me, it just, 
the wig didn't fit anyway so it was no point on me um, going further down so here right there I'm just making sure I got that the way that I wanted and my hair is gonna fall over um, like where my sideburns are anyway so I'm not too concerned about it showing or um, people saying that it did not fit so yeah so I'm just taking up my baby hair right here so they're not plastered on my head for a more natural look taking my hot comb again which is something I didn't want to do but I was like eh, might as well um, um, just to get it a little bit flatter because I did not want to use any um, any more styling foam on this hair and then next you guys I'm just going to add in some wand curls this hair curled like a dream um, I think I curled the hair for like five seconds it took me no time to just put a few wand curls in this hair and after doing that it gave me so much body I don't know the last time I got so much body and so much fullness from hair like this beauty forever hair so i was very very impressed and i was like really feeling myself y'all y'all like have no idea <laughs> I will say if you are able to get this wig in 180% density, I think that would be much better. Not saying that I had an issue with the 150, I love the 150% density, but I think that 180 would just give you a little bit more like, like I don't know, like a little bit more body and stuff and just fullness all around. So just my opinion. And I love this texture. Body Wave is actually my favorite texture out of all of them because it's the most versatile versatile to me I love me some body wave um oh it's just always so pretty and you could just do so much to it you curl it straighten it and all that good stuff where it as is it's just it's just so versatile but anyways I'm just using my wand stick y'all don't care about that I'm just using my wand stick I'm just using my wax stick um to lay down any flyaways and I get crazy with my wax stick you guys don't do all that like I just did it's not necessary for this hair and here I'm just going to take my powder and it use that for my part and I did have to go back in and put some more curls in this hair because I stopped filming for a while and the curls did fall so just make sure you add a little bit of hairspray and after I did that I was just fine so yeah you guys that's pretty much it for this video check the description box for all the information on this wig and you guys know the drill if you have any questions or anything like that please put them down below you know I will answer you until then I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will We'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.